Hello, this is Brian Resney, president of Resney Wealth Management, bringing you an important update about the economy and the investment markets. Well, of course, uh, 2018 is off to a great start. Again, I want to caution every investor, expect a pullback in 2018 in the magnitude of 8 to 10% in my opinion as a minimum. It may not happen, but traditionally all asset categories, not just the stock market, the bond market, real estate, gold, has pullbacks. Sometimes they can be as severe as 8 to 10% in a calendar year. We've had years where the stock market in the U.S. pulled back 17% negative, recouped that, and went to, to new high ground. These things happen. The big key is this. As an investment firm, Resney Wealth Management is very unique. Most investment firms, the big Wall Street firms, the banks, most of these firms do what's called buy and hold. They don't believe in meaningful risk management in a severe recession. We do a lot of work, we spend a lot of money on recessionary type uh, information, and hopefully as the next recession comes, it'll alert us early, we can start reducing risk exposure in our client portfolios. That's what we fully intend to do. But I will tell you, most firms set it and forget it, really no risk management. But I will tell you this, we are not seeing any signs of recession at all. In fact, I'm glad to say that our firm was one of the few firms out there that kept investors fully invested the last couple years when we heard a lot of information from a lot of the big banks in Wall Street talking about recession and basically getting defensive, which would have been a huge mistake. So again, recessions do come and go. We haven't seen one since really 2008, 2009. We may not see one for another eight or nine years, depending on how the economy grows. The big key is overall earnings. If companies are growing revenues and earnings, there's a good likelihood equity prices will go up, not only in the US, but around the world. We're seeing synchronized growth around the world. Emerging markets, developed Europe, and the US. These are all net positives. We are starting to see negatives in the bond market, certain kinds of bonds, not all bonds, but certain types of bonds do react in different ways to interest rate increases. We're starting to see that in the 10 year and in the 30 year treasury in the US and in corporate bonds in the US. I will say floating rate securities and emerging market bonds have actually done quite well in 2018 so far. We will hope that trend will continue. Allocation, in my opinion, uh, to especially the emerging market economies is way understated and underinvested by the majority of investors around the world. Investors are still fearful of a big pullback. They haven't been fully invested or right invested, in my opinion, in the last three to five years. And I think investors are still underinvested and not invested correctly in the right sectors. Because again, a lot of these Wall Street firms do a stock asset allocation. It comes blended out on a computer model and you have very little allocation to the areas that can truly grow or are very inexpensive, in our opinion, on asset categories within, again, the world economy. If you're a client of our firm and you have any questions, please call us. And of course, if you're a client of our firm, we always appreciate your business and your referrals. We're starting to get a lot of referrals from clients that are telling us we have friends that just are not doing that well or have not done that well. Those are great referrals from my firm. So keep us in mind when talking to friends or business associates or acquaintances. Again, your business is appreciated and your referrals. Make sure you have yourself a safe and profitable day.